Limp Wrist is a queer band that's taken flight in the predominantly heterosexual world of straight edge. Over the years, the term straight edge has meant many things to many people, but most take it to mean no drugs and no alcohol. And for some, also included on this list is no sex. For vocalist Martin Soron de Guy, the removal of sexuality from straight edge is something to fight against, and so Limp Wrist keeps true to its roots while putting a queer spin on the music. I... Hi everyone, thanks for coming. <laughs> Alright, Limp Wrist um, started about, I'd say, over two years ago, um, and it basically started via a phone call that I had with the guitarist. Um, we talked about some ideas about how great it would be to do uh, a homocore kind of punk band, but that really played like aggressive punk music and, you know, kind of pushed the whole idea of like, queerness and in, in punk and just in general. What started as that idea kind of snowballed into trying to find members to actually form the band. I mean we didn't think it was going to happen because he lived in Albany, New York and I was in Chicago at the time. We're going to do another song that's on the album. It's called Limpress vs. Dr. Laura that kind of goes hand in hand with that song. You all know who Dr. Laura is. She's not even oh, Dr. Laura! Yeah, she's a trip. I don't know what her trip is. It's really tricky when we're writing lyrics sometimes because we're, you know, who are we writing for? Is it the punk audience? Is it a queer audience? Is it a, a straight edge audience? Is it, you know, what, who are we targeting with our songs? And we're trying to write in a way that it can appeal to many different audiences. And when you're doing that, it gets a little, it can get a little tricky. <laughs> Is there any unifying element to the to the queer core scene right now? You know, it depends on the towns you go to. I mean, there's homo queer kids or queer punk kids all over the country, all over the world, and there's no such thing as number one, a very minimal punk scene, and number two, a queer punk scene. That's that's really getting tough. So, you know, I would wish, you know, I think it would be great to say, oh yeah, there's just an amazing network of, of, you know, queer punk kids all over the world. And it's just, I think it's, you know, it's happening, but it's very, it's moving really slow. Um, in your former band, Los Crudos, did you have the opportunity to explore your sexuality within the context of the band at all, or did, it, did that opportunity ever come up? Oh yeah, it did. It did a lot, actually, especially towards, um... I'd say more towards the end than the beginning. In the beginning, I wasn't at all ready for it. And I'd say probably around 94, we I started to actually come out at shows and talk about that. Some people I heard, I mean, there was never any really direct confrontation, but I had heard that there were people who no longer liked Los Crudos because the singer was a fag and talked about that. And which, you know, to this day, it kind of makes me laugh. Only for the, you know, I, I think about it and go, well, I mean, if you... You you liked us before and don't like us now. You never really liked us. We you know we talk about like you know the straight edge scene because a lot of us were part of the straight edge scene and still are. For so many years, we would get these flyers and record covers with the really beefed up drawings of boys, and we were just like, oh, this is so fucking hot, right? And this this thing that happens with the pileups and the stage diving. I know some people are like, oh that's lame, you know I can't get close, but we love it because we grab ass, we grab ass, we grab dick. It's about liberating ourselves. It's about not being afraid to touch another man, a woman touching a woman. It's about like just like, you know, breaking those boundaries and being like, okay, let's not put up this front that, oh, I'm just dancing, bro. Bullshit, you're getting close to a man and you love it. So let's go. Do you get tired of some audience members not knowing if you're a hardcore band that happens to be queer or you're a queer band that's playing in the hardcore style? A lot of the audience knows the histories of some of the members and the bands we've been in and stuff that it's not a question. They just know that we're punks or hardcore punks that, that you know, happen to be queer and doing a queer band. As far as like the validity or are you legit punks or something, that, that's never happened. <laughs> 